So let's come back to our uh, Q-Ground control. We can see here that we have uh, a battery at 3% only. So in simulation doesn't actually harm a lot because uh, the copter will still continue to, uh, to operate, but uh, with a real copter, usually we have to, to force the copter to land. Uh, one of the things that uh, it's important to know that uh, the copter has a lot of parameters. Okay, for example, the system ID is one of the parameters of the copter. Every copter has is identified by a certain ID. So in in uh, Mav proxy, we can write param show, and we can see the list of parameters as you can see here. Okay, for example, here one of them is the system ID is equal to three. Okay, and this actually can be set. You can change any parameter uh, from this list just using the command param set, and then you select the parameter. For example, uh, sys ID this map. Okay, and I want to change this to, for example, four. Okay, so we have here sys ID this map. It's uh, not case sensitive, so we can write it uh, capital or not capital. And this is going to take effect from the next start. Now, for example, if I close the autopilot and then communication again, lost, let's see what happens. Vehicle four stabilized flight mode. So it says vehicle four is in stabilized flight mode. Now the vehicle has an ID equal to four and is uh, considered again. So you can see this is the previous one and this is the new one because they have uh, restarted it again. Uh, and because, since they have two different IDs, so in this case we can see both because QGround control actually supports multiple drones. And uh, since these two have different IDs, so we can see them simultaneously here. Okay, so in the, if you want to see only one, uh, we have uh, to restart it again. Stabilize flight mode. Okay, and then we have only this drone here. We can do the same thing from the graphical user interface. Uh, so here we have uh, several parameters, uh, firmware, airframe, radio, flight modes. So this is re related basically to the configuration of uh, the parameters of the uh, real drone. I'm not going to change uh, any of this, but what we'd like to see now is the list of parameters. Okay, so you can see the same parameters that we find here using param show, Okay, all of them are here. So let's, for example, now try to find the system ID. Sys, we can just write sys ID and it's going to find everything that contains sys ID. Okay, now we have sys ID, my ground station, and sys ID, this map. So this is the parameter that we have changed. It's equal to 4. If you want to change it again from Q ground control, it's possible. Just uh, as simple as changing the values here and saving it is going to send it to the drone and in the next start it's going to take effect but i'm not going to do it now and there are several parameters there are parameters related to safety for example like uh, arming check arm we, we can see all the parameters with arm search so one of them is arming check so you can see here before uh, we start arming so before the autopilot is able to arm the copter uh, when we check all, this means that all these sensors must be checked and uh, must be working correctly as expected. If you don't want to put uh, security on all the different sensors, in this case you can uh, unselect all and then check any of the sensors or uh, the parameters that you would like the autopilot to check before being able to arm the, uh, the copter. This is a safety measure that is important uh, because now in uh, real experiments it's important that we check all the different uh, sensors so that the drone will not arm only if everything is working as expected without errors and the copter is well calibrated because in case of any problem with calibration whatever for the IMU sensor or for the gyroscope or for the barometers or for the compass or for the GPS in this case, uh, the crash can easily happen. Uh, however, when all the sensors are confirmed to work as expected correctly, in this case, the 
the probability of crash will become very low and the drone will uh, be reliable. Okay, there are other parameters related to the battery as well. We can see them here. And the same can also be shown here. So, for example, uh, if we make sys id, show sys id, uh, this map, so it's going to show the current parameter. If we make with a star wildcard, in this case, it's going to provide all the information that contains sys id or the parameters that provide sys id. So to summarize, if you want to show a parameter, you use show. If you want to change a parameter, you use set. Okay, so you can use set the parameter and the new value and it's going to change.